Okay, we're just doing a short video on how to find the equation of a straight line. Um, so what we've got in our data is perhaps, I'll get on the pen, you know, we've got dots all over the place and we can see that the trend is up and we just need to find an equation that basically estimates what the trend is. So sometimes the trend can be approximated by a straight line by your eye, but the trouble is that everyone's eye is seeing things differently. So copy that and come across. Okay, so what we're looking at is called a two mean regression line. So means, as you know, are just averages. That's just the word average. And a regression line just means you just, you're just trying to uh, put a line in between dots. Okay, that's what the regression means. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two st some steps. We're gonna divide the data into two equal groups and then we're going to find the mean of the x values and the y values, whatever the two things that are being measured for each of the two groups. And this gives us like two coordinates. So what we're going to do is get a coordinate for the average of the first set and a coordinate for the average of the second set. And then we're going to join these points using and find the equation. So eventually we're going to have like y equals mx plus b. And so the gradient is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, or that's just called the rise over the run. And then we're going to find the y-intercept from that. Okay, so we'll do an example on the next page, and hopefully that will make all make sense. So come across when you're ready. Okay, so I've got a set of data, um, you know, years 1 to 12, and whatever we're measuring is there. So you can see as the years are going up, you know, the data is trending upwards so that we can see that these are that suggest a linear relationship. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide the group into two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, if we don't have an even number, if we've got an odd number, then I think just divide into as two as equal. We can like a six and a five. So we're going to divide into two groups, and we're going to find the average for each group. So this is going to be group one, and this will be group two. Okay. Um, so in the first group, um, the, okay. So the x average is one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six over six. So the average is three point five, and I want you to find the average of those six numbers. Um, so pause the tape for a second and come back when you're ready and we'll see if you've got the average close enough to what I got. Okay, so you're back and the average was about 53. Okay, now we're going to look at the second group. So again, the X numbers, I'll do the X numbers for you. So the X average was 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 plus 11 plus 12 over 6. Uh, so that average is 9.5. So I want you to pause the tape and I want you to have a go and find the y average of those six numbers. So pause and when you're ready, come back. Okay, you're back and the average should be about 107. Okay. So what we're going to do now is find the gradient. So the m is the rise over the run. So it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So 107 is the second one, and the first is 53, divided by the second was 9.5, and the first was 3.5. So do that calculation on your calculator and see what you get. Okay, you should have got 9. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do now is uh, Got to find the value of b, so we've got y equals mx plus b. So we're going to use that as your coordinate. That's going to be your x, that's going to be your y. We know the m is 9, and we're just going to find the b value. So 53 equals m times x plus b. And if you put that on your calculator, you should get something around um, 21.5 or close enough. Hopefully I haven't made a mistake. And so the line, the trending line is y equals 9x plus 21.5 and that is, our, that is our trending line. 
Okay, so that's all we have to do. So we find the averages of the first set, the averages of second set. We use the gradient formula, which is the rise over the run, to get our gradient, which is nine, and then we just plug in either that num that set of numbers or that set of numbers. It doesn't matter which one we'll set. That we might get slightly different values, but it's going to be close enough. And then we end up with an equation of a line. Okay, and that's it. Estimating a trend line. Bye.